Oh, shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Wendem Yadon of the line of Judah Society and Pearl Match. We just finished, a, I don't know how many parts it is, but a series on uh, of our 25th our weekly Torah portion in the fulfillment of Rastafari, of the, of the King of Kings and his Christ. And what I'm going to do right here is just kind of give you a, a quick overview, but stay tuned for some of the, the different parts. They, they might be short segments you know, short segments and everything so we can post them here and there. But there's, there, there's much in this that we really highly encourage ones to check out. So we're going to actually put this one up, hopefully, as the first portion. And we say, um, you know, a happy Good Friday, not because Yeshua was crucified on a Friday. Actually, it was a Wednesday. We also touch on that in some of the vids coming forward to better explain that right there. But it's Good Friday because Friday is the eve of the Shabbat, right, the eve of the Shabbat, right? So let's recognize that connection, not just right now in this particular season in 2013, but, but in every season, right? You know, every Shabbat eve is a good Friday, right? Especially if you know that there's none good but Jah Rastafari, but Yeshua HaMoshiach to the glory of his Father, but the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Triune God is the only good. So... I'm going a little fast because I know i got a, a couple of minutes right here just to, to try to encourage you to check out this, uh, this Torah portion right here that we go through and, and, and the beautiful uh, revelation that has been given of the tabernacle, of the ordination, right, the priestical, the priestical ordination as well as the types of, of sacrifices. But some might get caught up in some of that and not really understand, right, and not really understand um, the, the connection of the Old Testament and New Testament, that, that, that true mediator of the true spirituality of his majesty is, is Yeshua, is Jesus Christos, right? And here in Hebrews, we've been in Hebrews back and forth in, in Hebrews, because um, our holy liturgy as Rastafari Hebrews, we're just going to go through this in the time that we have. I think i got like maybe two minutes or so, maybe a little less. But chapter 8, just hear this, and this is a connection with that. Read up and study on it a little bit more for yourself. Now, the ironic priesthood, which we're learning about here in Leviticus, it served the shadows. It was a shadow of which Christos, or Moshiach, even the black Messiah, is the reality. So the old serves as a shadow of that which in the new covenant is the reality. Verse 1, it says, chapter 8, Hebrews chapter 8, now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. So we're giving you a little summary right here. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty, who is set on the right hand of the throne of Abba, Kedus, 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 the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, right, in the heavens, in the heavenlies, in the Oranos, right, or some might say the Orion, right, I think it's roughly right around here or so, right, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, the true tabernacle in man, which Adonai pitched and not man, so Adonai pitched it, not man, right? For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. This is a little bit of what we're learning about in this Torah portion of. Wherefore, it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. So this one must have something to offer. And truly, his majesty has much to offer, I and I. For if he were on earth, he should not be a...